when you look at politicians in Washington, how do you how do you map this this research, these ideas you have? Uh, you have a famously complex relationship with President <laughs> Obama. You yeah. admire him at some level, but in right. m many ways you're right of center and disagree with him right. politically. I is he a social animal? Yeah, he's multiple animals. Uh, you know, I would say we're all we all have multiple personalities. Uh, my psychobabble description of him is he is a very complicated person who has many different selves. All of them are authentic, but they come out in different contexts. And he is, is always has the ability to look at other parts of himself from a distance. Uh, and so it, it means he has great power to self-correct. And I think it gives him power to see himself. It means that he rarely is all in. You know, President Bush didn't have as much, many multiple selves. So when he made a decision, he was all in. He was just going to be there. <laughs> Whereas I think President Obama is much more cautious uh, because he's a man of many pieces and many parts and not all of which I under, I think anybody understands. But it, may, it leads to that caution uh, that we see time and time again and almost a self-distancing, I see. In general, though, the politicians I cover are tremendously attuned social animals on the campaign trail. The problem is that when they go into government, they start talking in the language of CBO reports and they become very dehumanized when they're doing government. It's a, they sort of take away, in many ways, the strength that they have.